In today's video, we'll be finding out what happens if I let myself soak in some of the strongest coffee I've ever seen. Then we'll be finding out how difficult it is to heat shrink wrap a human being in plastic. And more things you guys dare me to do in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up at whatever point it looks like I'm uncomfortable. It's pretty much the whole video. Plus, we can get this video to 10,000 likes, I'll let you guys decide what happens to my shitty excuse for a beard. So, let's fire up that like button, we'll get this thing going. For this first dare, you guys have been asking me to take baths in various things from jello to human blood. But the dare I thought sounded most interesting was taking a bath in coffee, which is a drink I am quite fond of. However, too much of anything is bad, including and especially caffeine. In today's video, we're gonna be finding out exactly how much coffee it takes to kill someone. Well, hopefully not. But something tells me we're gonna be walking the line. Because I have about a million containers of instant coffee. In addition to that, I've hacked my water heater to make it so hot that it can probably brew some real coffee. Which may destroy my pipe, so we need to get this done pretty quick. Now, I've done some calculations, and I'm not gonna need that many of these containers in order to make a bathtub full of coffee. So not only am I gonna be taking a bath in coffee, I'm gonna be taking a bath in some seriously strong coffee that you probably wouldn't even want to drink. That being said, plan on drinking some. Not that anyone wants to drink bath water coffee anyways. That is some rich coffee. But before I fill it up the rest of the way, I wanted to show you how I'm gonna be brewing this coffee. So I've got a dirty pillowcase here, and I'll be filling it up with cans of this coffee. And seeing as how the water is actually ridiculously hot, it should brew just fine. <laughs> Okay, I've got a few pounds of coffee here that I'll be basically using as a tea bag. This challenge definitely felt like I got tea bagged. I think it's working! My giant coffee tea bag is working! Yeah! I've already been drinking too much coffee today, so this is really testing the limits. Well, I guess the next step is getting in this monstrous beast of a coffee here. Something tells me in no time McDonald's is going to be serving coffees this size. But until they do, this is the only way I know of of making one. Now, like I said, the next step is getting in, and that's not going to be easy, because keep in mind, I messed with my hot water heater, and this is not normal hot water that's been coming out of here. As a matter of fact, I've got somebody fixing that right now, so it doesn't destroy my pipes. That being said, it's actually pretty painful even to just stick my finger in, and that's, that's not a good sign. So, here we go. Woo, that is hot. <laughs> Holy Christmas! Oh! Ho ho ho! ho. Ah! I gotta admit, it's pretty soothing, and I like the smell of coffee, so that's not too bad either, although this is kind of overpowering, obviously. I've got several pounds of coffee still right here brewing inside of it as we speak, making it even stronger as we go on. But before I have a taste of this stuff, there's something I always do to my coffee, and that's add cream. Now, ordinarily, I put a ton of sugar in my coffee. To sweeten this up, I, I decided to buy a bunch of donuts. I gotta admit, I'm feeling the caffeine seeping into my pores, and it's making me feel really, really jittery already. I don't know if that's just because of the power of suggestion or me smelling all the coffee, but I am more awake right now than I've ever been in my life. It kind of feels like I'm on crack. Don't ask me how I know that. No, I'm just kidding, I, I don't know that, but I gotta assume. But you didn't think I was gonna make this much coffee and not drink some, did you? Now, like I said, I didn't add any sugar to this other than what was all over the donuts, but something tells me that since I'm sitting in it, it won't really matter either way. Delicious. It's not as bad as you'd think. That was a lie. This stuff tastes really, really gross. I mean, it's kind of disgusting. All right, no, seriously, guys, I'm gonna puke. This is disgusting. It has a strong hint of coffee and bath water. This is just not where I want it to be in life right now. I feel like I'm drinking a hundred cups of coffee, but now I'm going to submerge myself in the caffeinated destruction that I have created. I'll see you guys on the other side. <laughs> I should have definitely pinched my nose. That was a mistake. I feel like that should count for a full cup of coffee. Oh, I just drank it with my lungs, so that's 
like double points. Seriously though, I'm getting really jittery. That's all the coffee that I can handle. I'm seriously about to freak out right now. All right, now at least for the time being, it seems that I have survived my very first coffee bath. That being said, it should be my last coffee bath if I do survive. The caffeine's gonna be running through my system for quite a long time, so the chances of having the heart attack are not over yet. I'm just gonna have to basically wait this one out, and hopefully things will take a turn for the best. I need to wash the coffee off myself right now. I'm feeling very jittery. That being said, we'll be on to the next air. After that, I went on to clean my house. 47 times, and then God knows what else. I think I blacked out at some point because I woke up three days later with a heavy caffeine addiction. For this next day, you guys seem to enjoy watching me get covered in various things that hurt. So I figured, why not melted plastic? For this next challenge, I'm gonna be getting covered in plastic and then having it melted all over me, sealing me in what is known as a shrink wrap. So you guys have probably seen products like this plenty of times before. People take this sort of stuff, wrap up gift baskets, and then they use a blow dryer to melt the plastic around whatever it is. Which got me wondering, what would happen if I covered myself in shrink wrap and had Kristen melt all this stuff all over me? But believe it or not, this stuff actually does burn a lot. I put my hand in a shrink wrap bag and just hit it with a blow dryer just to see what would happen, and it did not feel good at all. I don't know why, I guess the plastic just holds the heat a lot better, but it burns like crazy. That being said, I'm going to be doing this shirtless and not expecting to survive. I have a couple of giant sheets of this stuff, so what I'm going to be doing is just laying it out, putting myself in a mummy position, and then encasing myself in what will inevitably be my tomb. We tried to think of several different ways to do it. One was a shrink wrap suit, but somehow I thought that mummifying myself sounded even more terrifying. Therefore, it would be perfect for this channel, which is why I'll stop stalling now and get to work. All right, so I'm just now laying down on the heat shrink wrap and I'm realizing that I can probably do my entire body with just one sheet. I'm gonna take each side of this stuff, wrap myself up, and we're gonna see if we can shrink wrap me with just one sheet of shrink wrap. Perfect. All right, now I'm gonna take my shirt off. I should have done that before, but I did not, and I forgot about it. Oh. Uh, You're like a little gift basket. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> So as I mentioned, the plastic gets incredibly hot. Uh, hot. Something else that became a problem was the inability to scratch my own nose. I refer to this as claustrophobia stage one. Left ear, my left, up higher, higher. Okay, all right, good, thank you. I just could not help but to move, no matter what I tried. All right, um, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna roll a little bit. Okay, stop moving. Stop it right now. Hold the cow, come back. Oh my God. You're like so. Okay, it's like this from the. Eventually, I thought, I have to be able to move right now. We'll just start over later. Oh, sorry. Let's start over from scratch. Okay. 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 So that first one didn't work out as we had hoped, but we're not giving up that easy. We have plenty more shrink wrap to go, so let's get to melting more plastic on my skin. So Kristen and I have concocted another plan of wrapping myself up. I think this one's gonna work, unfortunately. So. Time to get it started. Ready? No. Come in. On the second attempt, we were just barely able to get myself wrapped up when I started to panic. So I am experiencing overwhelming amount of claustrophobia right now. I thought I was gonna be able to sit through this, but I absolutely cannot. The tedious work that Kristen was doing is absolutely doing its magic on me because now I'm starting to seriously freak out and I'm honestly just like going over in my mind how much longer I can last like this. I am honestly at the verge of panic right now and I gotta get out, I gotta get out. Oh my god. Oh. I honestly felt like I was gonna die in that thing. It was so hot and sweaty. I could not take anymore. That was the worst experience of my entire life. And I definitely feel like I lost probably about three or four pounds of sweat in that thing. That was really disgusting. I was sitting there and like making a soup out of all the juices flowing off my body because 
Nothing can escape in there. It's just all hot box greenhouse gas. I feel really disgusting now. Kristen's definitely turned on a lot. Woo! <laughs> and that being said, we on to the next air. That really was the grossest thing ever. Oh! I could, when I was blow drying it, I could see like condensation forming inside the shrink wrap plastic. Yeah. It was really weird. It, it felt really weird. And it was really weird. But by the way, I grew this shitty excuse for a beard because one of you guys dared me to. But I will let you guys decide if I keep it or not. Just let me know in the comments. And while you're down there, I'm always up for a good challenge, so make sure to leave me your dares in the comment section. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you've yet to have done that. And of course, if you'd actually like to see the videos, you have to bell me for notifications these days. It's just how things are. But also, I made a playlist of some recent and kind of similar videos, so, so make sure to give that a watch, and I will be seeing you guys as soon as possible with a brand new video. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.